If you're still transferring files from your Galaxy S10 to your computer using the cable method, it's time to disconnect. It's time to go wireless and that is what Samsung Flow is when you enable it. This and many other features is what the show is all about. Let me show you what I mean. Right, so it all starts at the Microsoft Store, open that and then in there look for Samsung Flow. Once you find the app, install it and then launch it. Right, here is mine's already launched and now I'm going to go to my Galaxy S10, look for the App Store, look for Samsung Flow within the App Store and install that on your phone as well. Then launch it on your phone, it will look like this, and then go back to your desktop and then click on Start. Once you click on Start, it's going to look at your Wi-Fi and it's going to find the Galaxy S10, click on that, and it's going to say to you, do you want to connect with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or LAN? It's going to give you a little code. On your phone, make sure it's the same code, click OK. Now it's going to pair the two up. And here comes the first feature. The first feature is being able to unlock my workstation, my Windows machine, just with my phone. If I want to do that, I scan my fingerprints and there we go. Now, next feature, if I want to move files from my phone, for example, this picture, to my computer, instead of plugging the cable in, I can click on the share button, look for the Samsung Flow and simply send it to my computer. I cause that. Now double click on my computer, there's my files and in fact I can even have an option to select where I want to save all my incoming photos or incoming files in fact from my phone. So I select a folder, click on that and click on select folder and there we go. All my future files will simply be in that folder. Now it works the other way as well. I can take a file from my computer, drag it and drop it onto the Samsung Flow and now if I go to my phone let's go into my notifications and there it is there's my file now it will already automatically appear in my gallery let me show you that open up gallery and go one step back and there we go so a very cool way to send files back and forth without having to plug your cable in right let's close all that down the next feature to enable is the clipboard now this is pretty cool now everything that you go and you put into your clipboard whether it's on your computer or on your phone will synchronize to the other clipboard let me show you so here's the clipboard edge i'm going to open up a url something on my blog i'm going to copy that now watch to the right hand side there we go it appears on my clipboard edge on my phone got an incoming call onto your phone no problem it simply appears as a message whenever you have the samsung flow enabled great if you're listening to music and you don't want to miss that incoming call on your phone, you've obviously got notifications and you've got notifications within Samsung Flow as well. So you can control the notifications that appear on your phone straight with from within the app. So if you delete something, it will delete it from the notifications on the phone. Next up, let's enable the Smart View. And essentially what that does, it shows you a mirror image of what's happening on your phone on your computer. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that your phone has actually gone dimmer. That is by design, so you don't get distracted. But anything that you do with your mouse on your computer actually gets mimicked to your phone. So you can launch apps, you can go into settings, all of those you can do straight from your computer. So let me show you that. Let's go into the camera, for example. And you can see whatever the camera is looking in on my phone, it actually translates into the computer. And I can control the settings. I can press the record button, play with the zoom and the ultra wide lens as well. So everything is controllable at a touch of a mouse straight from your computer. Right, if you do want to dim the light or make it brighter on your phone, you simply tap this button right here and that's going to switch on the light or switch off the light on your phone. Right, next option here is being able to take a screenshot, simply tap that and whatever's on the screen will be saved as a image. And here you got the option to change the resolution. So if you're finding it's a bit laggy or a bit slow, you can actually reduce the resolution to low or leave it at really, really high to get the full effect from your phone as well. Right, but what happens if you want to launch apps onto your phone and you don't want to go searching for them every time? No problem. You simply go into your little star, your little favorite, add one app, add multiple apps, and it will simply just add a little shortcut right to the top to the little toolbar so that you simple tap on it and it will just launch whatever the app is on the phone itself. Now the cool bit is just because the app is launched on the phone doesn't mean you can't use your keyboard to actually do the typing. 
right let's go into the next thing which is messages so here i just received a text message on my phone i can reply to it straight from my pc so type whatever the message is using the keyboard obviously on the computer click on send and any replies will of course come straight away into my notifications into my samsung flow and i'm able to see them and then reply again and again but they still obviously kept on the phone itself so i never lose track of my text messages there is one downside using the Samsung Flow is that you cannot register multiple devices. So for example, if I want to register my Galaxy S9, I cannot do that unless I deregister the first device, which is the S10, before I register the next one. I'm not sure why that is. And there you have it. No more wires required. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time here, welcome, glad you can make it. Consider subscribing by hitting the head below to subscribe. Check out some of these other cool videos down here. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time. Cheers for now.